Yankees are set to play, of course, opening day for our Yankees, manana. We are already hype, but I tell you what, and I know there's going to be some people out there probably going, ah, okay, it's a little deal, who cares? This is a very nice trade for the New York Yankees. I want to immediately just jump to that and go, we were just talking about this in our team meeting. We had a team meeting yesterday, today at 8.30, guys, remember? We have Knights at the Round Table. You don't want to miss it. This got this is the best panel you're going to have around the board for New York Yankees. You will not find a better one than what we're going to have for you guys tonight. So I'm not going to stay here for a super duper long time, but I am going to talk about this trade because I feel like it is important to talk about it right now. So again, if you are just joining Jason, my brother, hello everyone. Happy to see that we made a move, especially since DJ could be out for a while. And this is a really, really good move. I'm going to tell you guys why. But let's go ahead and look at what the deal was and who the Yankees got. The Yankees have acquired infielder, outfielder John Birdie from the Marlins uh, for prospect John Cruz. I'm big on John Cruz, but there's another piece that was just added. Ben Rordvet has been traded to the Tampa Bay Rays in this same exact deal. So it is a three-team deal. Ben Rordvet is going to the... Ben Rordvet is going to the Tampa Rays. John Birdie to the New York Yankees. Very nice move for the Yankees. Couple of quick things I want to bring on the screen to talk about. Um, John Birdie for a second, who I believe is going to be the Yankees starting third baseman immediately out the gate. He does play multiple positions, which is very good. Great glove. Very, very good speed. Also becoming a better hitter. He is 34 years old. He's a veteran. But let's take a look at our friend uh, Joe Randazzo here. Brings up some many, many good points. The Yankees traded for John Birdie. Birdie played in 133 games for the Marlins last year. He hit 294. 344 on base percentage with a 103 WRC plus and had a 2.1 F war. Birdie is a good bottom of the order bench bat with a great glove. He had a three OAA at short and two OAA at third. With DJ LeMayu looking to start on the IL and Oswaldo Cabrera showing he may not be an everyday player, Birdie is the kind of guy you try to acquire to let him play for the time being. A hundred percent. That is truly spot on for where it is. And again, you switch over to John Birdie's baseball savant page. You can see why there is things to like here with Birdie. One, look at the average. He had his best offensive season last year. Previous year, he stole 41 bags. So the Yankees are adding a guy who can play very good defense at second, third, short, also in left field. He's played the outfield before. Uh, base running run value. This is a guy that is a veteran who knows how to get things done. This is the type of move you guys have heard me screaming about for weeks now when it comes to the New York Yankees. You cannot enter the year without an additional veteran on this club. And the Yankees indeed did that today by adding John Birdie. He's probably going to be our starting third baseman, I would assume, I don't know, maybe against righties, the Yankees are going to be very, very comfortable with Oswaldo Cabrera playing third base, but I do believe Birdie will definitely be in the lineup tomorrow playing against the Houston Astros with Valdez on the mound, the lefty. That is the route the Yankees will go. I don't know where they put him in the lineup. He's a guy that, again, 294 last year, 
plays good ball overall? Do the Yankees go throw him lead off? I don't know. But John Birdie's a guy who seems to have found his stride a little later in his career. As again, he is 34 years old, 5'10", 190. Very solid year across the board. Always seems to have a solid on base percentage too. So those are things to look forward to. Had an over 700 OPS yesterday. You see a spray chart right here. He hits the ball all over the place. And that's a very good thing. That's what you want to see. 388 at-bats last year. So again, doesn't need to be a guy that's playing every single day. But, 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 but. This is the piece and a piece that does make the Yankees a better team. Uh, John Cruz was traded. Now, John Cruz is a prospect we all like. Um, Los likes John Cruz a lot. Dane, I just called Dane up. I said, hey, you got to change that top 30 because John Cruz is gone. John Cruz is a guy that's a re- that was a, a strong prospect for the Yankees. But again, again, guys, here's the deal. John Cruz wasn't helping the Yankees in 2024. John Cruz probably wasn't helping the New York Yankees in 2025. As much as I like John Cruz, as much as I like the, like the prospects on the New York Yankees, you got to win right now. It's why people go, oh, he's Pete Dombrowski, he wants to trade guys. I want to win in 2024. And the minute Garrett Cole got hurt, it got a whole lot harder for the New York Yankees to win. So you better believe you must figure out a way offensively to improve your club to make out for whatever you might be missing on the pitching aspect of the game. The Yankees improved that today with this birdie deal. You can't be upset with it. You got to be happy about this. You truly have to be happy about this deal. You cannot be upset at all. At all. It's a good move, folks. It's a good move. Uh, John Brophy says, I'm curious if this trade means DJ is more hurt than we're thinking. I'll tell you this right now, um, uh, John. I, I think the thing is with DJ LeMayu is, can you even trust him coming back anytime soon? And everybody knows I am a, uh, 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 I will defy it to the end that I love DJ LeMayu and I want to give him his shots and his chances and all that stuff. I will continue to defend DJ LeMayu. But DJ lemayu has been injured for a minute now. It's the, the, the foot again. Yes, a regular injury. It's not like he was running the bases and hurt his toe. He fouled the ball off his leg. And a bone bruise could be very bad. A bone bruise could be something that he deals with for months. He could be out for months. It may not just be a couple of days. It may not be a couple of weeks. He might be out for months. So the Yankees, with or without DJ LeMayu, in my opinion, needed to make this move. You guys heard me all offseason talk about Gio Urshela, Ahmed Rosario. I'm sure there was some other names out there I was talking about for the Yankees too, to try to add a veteran presence to the infield depth because I deeply felt the Yankees need it. And they did it. This is a good deal. This is a smart deal. This is a deal that hits all the marks analytically, uh, defensively, which is all in analytics. But but baseball mind, you know, your regular eye test, this passes all those tests across the board. John Birdie is a very, very solid fit. Again, we got 300 plus people in here. Hit that like button. We got a full day for you guys today. And of course, a full day for you guys tomorrow with opening day. But again, for anybody just joining, John Birdie had 388 at-bats last year, 424 plate appearances, 53 runs scored in that little bit of plate appearances, 114 hits, 7 homers, 16 stolen bags, 294 batting average, 344 on base percentage. If he comes to any of these numbers... We would be extremely excited because here's the deal. Our offense just got better. And yes, this is not some significant move that, holy shit, you just got a guy that's going to help us for years and years to come, and it's a Soto. No, of course not. 
But man, oh man, this move feels good. This move feels like a winning move for the Yankees. This is one of those late impact deals that, again, isn't an all-star, isn't a wow, oh my God, the Yankees are, you know, uh, went from a horrible offense to a great offense. No, they went from what should be a great offense to an improved bench, and now they have a better bench and a better offense overall. Additional speed has been added to the club. Better defense has been added to this club. Very, very good things. This, this is this is really, really good. Uh, let's see what we got in the chat. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. We got 333 in here right now. Smacky the likey. Hitty the sub sub if you have not. <laughs> Couple of quick reminders, at around 7 o'clock, we will be premiering our last vlog. So the vlogs are done, 8.30, nights at the round table. Yes, we'll be talking about Birdie a little more, we'll be talking about a lot. But 8.30, nights at the round table tonight, guys, mark it on your calendar. Do not miss it, do not miss it. Fritz likes the deal, Fritz, I love the deal. Hector Cruz says uh, the Oswaldo... Oswaldo can't catch a break. Or the Oswalds, he means. Oswald Peraza, Oswaldo Cabrera. Oswald Peraza, look, everybody knows I love Peraza, but the guy hasn't been able to stay healthy, and when he's needed to perform, he hasn't been able to. And I'm, everybody here knows I'm one of the biggest fans of Peraza, but he just hasn't been able to done it. He hasn't been able to do, done it at all. Are we looking at a straight platoon at third base as Petrucci? Um, I don't know about that. I do think he'll be in the lineup tomorrow considering there's a lefty on the mound. But look, man, veterans mean something. You know, there, there are so many people out there that don't give credit to veterans. It's a young man's game. And we all understand that. We all get that. It is a young man's game. Baseball is, go is gearing more towards getting your youth up when they're doing well in AA and getting them to the major leagues. We understand that. But again... I, I want to talk about this again, man. It A deal like this truly is a winning move because you got to see it like this, right? If you're those guys in, those, in that clubhouse, a lot of you know how bad Oswaldo has struggled. A lot of you know that DJ LeMayu hasn't been that same guy and they're telling you he's going to be the leadoff hitter this year. You know in your mind somewhere by playing with these guys every single day, you would know in your mind it's... But this, this this is not the greatest scenario for us. Then DJ gets hurt, and now it's Oswaldo being the guy that's going to be manning third base for you every day, likely. Then you add a veteran presence, a guy that's been there and done that, not somebody you got to come in and talk to, not somebody you got to come in and go, hey, check the attitude at the door. This is a guy that will fit in immediately. As FL Diver says, we got Birdie and Bertie on the same damn team. Dirty Bertie, dirty birdie, okay? T-shirt time, done, made, locked and loaded. Smacky the like, hitty the sub sub, okay? We're ready to rock and roll here and why, why you? And let me tell you something. I love my Yankees so damn much. You better believe it feels like Christmas for me by just getting a guy like John Birdie. Have we sunk that low? That birdie gets us this excited, but I don't give a friggin' poot. I love the damn deal. John Birdie's a Yankee, and tomorrow he's going two for four with a double, a stolen bag, and two runs scored. Thank you. Oh, I'm ready for opening day like you guys can't even imagine. I am so ready for opening day, folks. The game's at four. But we start at about 3.30 tomorrow, okay? You ready for game season live, folks? Who's ready for game season live tomorrow? Who's ready for the post-game show tomorrow? The official of the officials, folks. It is time to rock and to roll, baby. But again, one more thing before we dip on out of don't you go nowhere because tonight at 8.30, have all of your questions answered. All of them. How far will the Yankees go? Bold takes, predictions, projections. If there's any additional news, the final roster, the giveaways, 
for NYYU Day coming up here in a couple of weeks, April 20th. We got two tickets that we're announcing tonight. That we are now announcing tonight. 8.30, put it on your calendar. I want everybody, everybody in this chat, mark it down right now. 8.30, don't miss it. Marco, my guy with the super chat. Thank you for being a friend. Missed out on Burns and Cease via trade. Didn't sign Snell, Yamamoto, Monty, or even Lorenzen. I would have even taken Nola. Marco, you're not wrong. We talked about this before, Marco. We talked about this before. You're definitely not wrong. Everybody knows Pete Dombrowski would have had Dylan Cease. All right? Pete Dombrowski would have had Dylan Cease. I also would have had Yo Mankata probably. But hey, look, you know what? It is what it is, and it's what we have. It's what we have right now. It is what it is. Macho King, <clears throat> it wouldn't be a Knights at the Round Table without your wonderful voice on there, Macho King. So, yes, indeed, there will be voicemails tonight on Knights at the Round Table. Start loading your voicemails in, folks. 804-592-6160. Well, DJ Steels, I mean, for you get that for about $30 million less than what um, Stanton's getting paid. <laughs> And he got legs that actually work. I'm just saying. I, yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right? Just saying. Yeah, drop your voicemails right there. 804-592-6160. He does play third base. He plays short. He plays second. He plays left field. And he plays it very, very, very good. He's a very good defender overall. So this is a nice deal for the Yankees, guys. John Bertie added to the New York Yankees. Got to be excited about it. Got to be happy. Again, drop your voice, miss, for the show tonight. Not everybody's will be answered. I'm just telling you guys now, we got a packed show tonight. Not everybody's voicemail will be answered, but we will try to get to as many of them as we can. Guys, it is official. Opening day is tomorrow. Later tonight, as you guys already know, uh, night's at the round table, 8.30. Put it on your calendar. 7 o'clock will be the last of our um, spring training vlog, then I might put the whole thing together as a movie. That's like an hour and 20-something minutes. I like that idea. I think I'll do it. I think I'll do it. Ideas just pop in my head as I go. But we got that for you guys today. And then tomorrow, 3.30, game season live. Game season live. 3.30 tomorrow. It is opening day in Houston, baby. And right after game season live, you got the post game season live. Where you going, baby? We're also 13 subbies away from 23.5. So smacky that likey and hitty your sister's sub sub. Until next time, guys, we will see you later tonight. 8.30, nights at the round table. Pete. Francis, Mario, Kev, Johnny, and Christian. You will not find a better panel than that anywhere across the... You know what? Anywhere across the world, damn it. The universe. The universe. We're coming for it. NYY universe. Is that already a thing? I think that's a thing the Yankees got. NYYU anyway. Talk to you guys later. I'm out. Peace, baby. Top 10 radar, yeah, we on your radar. Mm -hmm. Never miss dog, and that's on occasion. Yeah, 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 we on your radar. Yeah, 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 we on your radar. Look, top floor, lifestyle, chef and boy, I'm cooking up. Put too high, ain't coming down, you see me if you looking up. I don't really talk too much, I show I'm running numbers up. Lucky that I'm strong enough, I'm going off, they know what's up. Top 10.